Welcome back. You're watching Sky News. Now, the daytime Emmys have taken place, but virtually. The show was originally scheduled to take place in Los Angeles on June the 12th. But of course, those plans were pushed back as a result of the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak. Well, joining me now is uh, Talk Radio's entertainment correspondent, Josh Rom. Hi there, Josh. Thank you so much for joining Sky News this uh, morning, Saturday morning. Um, interesting, isn't it, that they're going ahead, but virtually. How will it look, do you think? Yeah, so the uh, 47th annual Daytime Emmy Awards was uh, hosted by the Ladies of the Talk, which included British host Sharon Osbourne. Uh, the ceremony, um, due to the COVID-19 crisis, obviously being held virtually, it's very interesting how kind of going forward award ceremonies might take place in the future. You know, I think I think the Emmys wanted, very much wanted to be the kind of leading way in this. Yeah, a brave move, you could say, but but ironically, more people than ever may see the awards this year. Yeah, absolutely, because I think there's a kind of there's a kind of drawing power in because, you know, the Daytime Emmy Awards usually actually haven't been broadcast in the past. You know, the Primetime Emmy Awards are going to be uh, streamed live in September, but this was the first time really that the daytime emmy awards had this massive drawing power and i think you know due to the covid 19 crisis and the fact of this kind of new way of presentation i think that's why the audiences have come really flocking in to see you know to see the awards given out to the soaps and the talk shows okay so who who are the winners and losers run us through them well, I think the big winners of the night were really Ellen, um, Kelly Clarkson as well, the music staff. Um, she hosted uh, her debut series of her daytime talk show, The Kelly Clarkson Show. Uh, she won She won the award for Best Entertainment Host uh, for a talk show. Uh, the View has usually in the past uh, been nominated for Best Show Entertainment. But this year, um, they were nominated for Best Talk Show Informative category, and that scooped up their first daytime Emmy win. And dramas? Uh, dramas, I think The Young and the Restless uh, beat out General Hospital in the acting category. Um, Finola Hughes from General Hospital unfortunately lost out to uh, Heather Tom in The Bold and the Beautiful. Uh, but General Hospital did kind of win as well for Tamara Braun, who won the, uh, the award for Best Supporting Actress. And all of this, Josh, comes at a time when TV, in particular daytime telly, is really being affected, hasn't it, by COVID-19? Because simply you can't film, or if you are filming, you've got to do it at a social distance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know for, for a fact The View, they've had uh, two or three co-hosts in the studio, all at a distance at the desk. They've had no audience. Um, and one of the hosts has been kind of uh, broadcasting from home. Uh, the same is kind of loose women in this country as well. You know, Ellen's been streaming her show from home. So I think it's a kind of TV has been forced to adapt to ways, you know, shows that would usually have an audience, no longer have a studio audience at the moment. Uh, you know, I know all the late night talk shows. I know uh, James Corden has been uh, broadcasting from his garage at home as well. Um, I know Jimmy Kimmel and... Um, and loads of the other late night hosts as well. So it's been very interesting to see this kind of live TV element, either broadcasting in a studio with no audience, so it's a completely different sounding sort of show, or these late night shows broadcasting from home. It's always great, isn't it, to get a sneak peek into these celebrities' front rooms. I know they look fabulous, don't they? I love Ellen's. I love Ellen's house actually because she has this kind of panoramic glass window behind her as she's talking to a celeb. Also uh, broadcasting via web chat from their home as well. So it, it's true. We do get like a sneak peek into uh, the real life of Hollywood. I have to say we're, we're loving your sofa as well, Josh. You're in there as well. Thanks so much for joining. <laughs> Studio. Absolutely. <laughs> backlighting at the back I love it yeah you've you done brilliantly Hollywood's next for you Josh Rom talks radio's entertainment correspondent thanks so much for joining us